us grilling. I'll tell you what, we are up north, and I don't mean up north, we are in God's country, let me we tell are. you that. We are at Shotzi's Resort. We are at the Golden Chipmunk Bar and Grill. We are in Douglas County, where there is four seasons each and every year. So stay... Hey, why am I talking like a chipmunk? Well, I feel like a chipmunk. Why am I talking like a chipmunk? Why am I talking like a chipmunk? Boy, do I sound like that all the time? All the time. You sound like that all the time. Oh, you don't look so good either. Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll be right back. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by... Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills. Pit Boss Pellet Grills, Cherry Delight, Native American Tourism of Wisconsin, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, Sundrop Soda, Shooting Star Casino, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, The Oneida Nation, and by Lashbro Aerial Images. This happens each and every. This happens each and every night that Shotzi's Resort is open. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are up north on Highway 53 above uh, o Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Uh, a few miles. We're having a great time. We're in Gordon, Wisconsin yeah. area. Okay. Uh, we're at Cranberry Lake behind this gorgeous. That's beautiful Cranberry view. Lake Isn't that behind something? Us. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh. What's that? What's, oh yeah, Wascott. Yeah, Wascott, that's exactly right. Well, that's, she's right. <laughs> but it is a 180 acre lake. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot of great things to do here. It's a year round resort. It yeah. really, really is a year round resort. It's gorgeous, great friendly folks. You got the Golden Chipmunk Bar and Grill. You can't go wrong. Well, okay, I mean, yeah, exactly. We came here, and I mean, it was just everybody just so welcoming. It was yeah, great. That's, it, it, that's it the whole thing. I was like, the lady says, here you go, here's a brush, the toilets are over there, but you're doing a good job. <laughs> but you know what, if you got an RV, they got RV sites, they got camp, they got cabins for you. It's everything you want in all four seasons, from camping to fishing to hunting to hiking to swimming to skiing. Snowmobiles and ATVs right out your back door. Well, <laughs> definitely, there's no and, doubt about that. And when you're done with that, good eats and drinks at the Golden Chipmunk Bar and Grill. Yep, that's what I can't <laughs> wait. Freddie's yeah. already enjoying himself. <laughs> Oh, geez, imagine that, huh? <laughs> well, we got to get it cooking, though, either way, to. one what way or the boy, other. I'll tell you. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about Wisconsin potatoes. We want you to eat wisconsinpotatoes.com. We're going to talk about our good friends up in Forestville, Wisconsin, uh, Country Ovens, and you can go to countryovens.com with their great Cherry Delight products. In fact, uh, you can order gift boxes uh, anywhere in the United States, around the world, and they come beautiful gift boxes for you any size, any dimensions you want, any price you want. You just get hold of our good friend Jennifer and Mike and the whole gang uh, up at Country Ovens and you'll be happy you did. I'll yeah, guarantee so I'll that. keep you satisfied. There's no doubt about that. Yes, sir. Are you ready to get grilling Let's here, get sir? Grill. Let's do a little pork loin. Well, how about action. a little bit of pork loin? I love pork loin. People have a tendency that they're getting overcooked pork. We've stressed that so many times. Definitely use a meat thermometer. I will usually take pork off about 145 degrees, okay? All right, but the big thing is you want to oil it. Oil is 90% of the meat products that you put on there. So I got a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna put that on there. Oil both sides on that real good. Ooh. Oil that real good. That's gonna hold the juices right yeah, in. That's gonna hold the juices right in. Need a little garlic, You're becoming folks. a grillologist, Freddie. <laughs> he really is. Yeah, Freddie, I'll tell you what, he is quite the grillologist. Yeah, I'm learning. I'm plenty learning of from garlic, the ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, plenty of garlic. We want that baby just filled with garlic. All right. <laughs> then on your seasonings, I like to go ahead and use the citrus twist. Not that I know Merle, really but I'm taking everything away from him that's glass, <laughs> plastic, or oil. And it always takes the bottles away from me, too. <laughs> yeah, well. Having a good time. Whoops, where's the bottle? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> All right, some citrus twist. This is really good. Rub that in there really good. Get that on both sides. Now I'm going to grill this direct heat. does not take that long to do. So we'll definitely use a meat thermometer on there. And then along with that, we got some good old Wisconsin potatoes, which I have sliced lengthwise. Yes. Put a little bit of oil in there, mm -hmm. and then your favorite seasonings, you grill them just like you would a steak. 
five to six minutes on each side. If you wanted to, you could top it with some cheese, a little salsa, a little onion, a little wow. pizza sauce. Well, that's what you're going to be doing, I heard. I heard you're doing a little blue <laughs> cheese and black olives. Oh, you one. bet you bet I am. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm going to be doing. That's for sure. That is a grillologist. Right I'm just, there. I'll tell you well, what. Well, we got a group to feed right now. We have a All group right. to feed. Mm -hmm. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring out the nice little big paella pan. There you okay. go. And I do have some. These are... Let me show you the reason they call these Yukon Golds right here, folks. Those are Wisconsin Yukons, and you don't get much golder than that. The, 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 the connoisseurs of potatoes, the potato growers eat the Yukon Golds because they're full of moisture. And I don't know if you can see that moisture content, but it's just phenomenal. They just, they just almost literally drip of water when you cut into those gorgeous potatoes. So what we did is we browned up the potatoes. Let me put these on the here, too. I browned up these little pineapple chunks on the grill, and I wanted to get those off because I knew I was going to have a little problem with those. So we're going to grab some nice spuds, and we're going to put the potatoes on top of that paella pan. These are the Yukon Golds. They were cubed up. They were oiled. They were seasoning. So we're going to do kind of like a... Uh, oh, I can't wait. A, 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 a homemade nacho-type situation for you good folks up there. So we got the potatoes. We got the pineapple. We got the meatballs. All right. Oh, that. oh man. He never drops them. You know, we always bet on that, and you know, <laughs> never. And he doesn't drop them. No. You would lose a drink if you bet against me. Yeah, right? and Fargo. We got him in you remember Fargo. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, but you're absolutely right. Yeah, but he's still cute. Fargo or Grand Forks? Which one was it? Yeah. Okay, so now we have the nice little, we have the meat and potatoes right here. Meat and okay. potatoes right here. Now it comes down to, these are hot jalapenos. Is that okay, folks? <laughs> sure. Oh, so we got to do one good thing first. These, this is the cat's meow right here. What's the cat? That's, oh. the, that's the cherry jalapeno sauce by Cherry Delight Country Ovens. Cherry jalapeno sauce. And that's going to be our nice little salsa. That goes over the top. We're gonna that stuff is really, really it good. It really is. It's so good I brought oh. two jars. And that's going to melt around. It's going to be good. It is going to be good. It's going to be absolutely delicious, isn't it? It's got just a, a, not even a bite, it's just that sweet heat type of flavor to it. It's going to be great. That's nice. So that's the yeah. Country Ovens Cherry Jalapeno Sauce. Now we can put the jalapenos there on the top go. of that. A little black bean action going on. I brought nah. bowls and forks too, folks. Don't you worry about a dark, no, dark, dark thing. No, me with their hands. That's <laughs> fun to see. Got the onions over the top of that. We have uh, black olives. That's Freddie's favorite. Yes, it is. Here's the olive guy. We have dried cherries, Cherry Delight Country Ovens. They dry, they actually dry, dehydrate, dry a, a million and a third pounds yep. of cherries a year in Door County. Just country ovens alone they do. That's a lot of cherries. That's a lot of gentlemen. cherries, I think. <laughs> now, of course. Look at this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's the next best thing to a pizza. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> A paizza. A, a, Good a wow. paizza! Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> right here! Right here at the we Golden Chipmunk it. Bar and Grill. Right at them. the Golden Chipmunk Bar and Grill, the paizza! The paizza! <laughs> They'll be serving those every Friday night. <laughs> hey, 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 don't start I know, he's shaking his head in the background. No, we're not, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. All right. <laughs> Look at that. That goes on that goes on our navigator. The MHP is cooking away over here. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. You have to go to Shotsy'sResort.com. Shotsy'sResort.com. You gotta be up here, folks. Oh yes! <laughs> We forgot to introduce Fast Freddy on the yeah. green. Oh, right here. Everybody loves Freddy. Freddy. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, we are in good hands with uh, Michelle and Mark. We are at Shotzi's Resort. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Shotzi'sResort.com. It really is a great place. Beautiful. A lot of open space, a lot of trees. We're in Douglas County, home to the Wisconsin's largest waterfall. I did not know that. Not, not too far from here. Home to right around the area within 30 minutes or so. A beautiful casino, three golf courses, kayaking, fishing, tubing. Oh. It's the whole works. Cranberry Lake, 180 Lake right behind us. 
and lots of lakes and streams around you. Oh, well, beautiful drive coming yep. in. Yep. <laughs> you can beautiful. be all natural and people don't care. Yeah. <laughs> chipmunk Bar and Grill. Chipmunk Bar and The Golden Chipmunk yeah, Bar and Grill. The Golden grill. Chipmunk. <laughs> Just for that, Freddie, I'm gonna wait, make you wait for your drink. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you some golden goodness. These are the Wisconsin taters. Those yeah, are done to perfection. Those are the paddles that are browned up that can be topped any way you want with steak, with chicken, with uh, uh, burrito style, taco style, pizza style, Reuben style. It doesn't make a difference. That beautiful pork loin that we did. Wow. I took the uh, the temperature. It's got the. Look at that, oh. beautiful. About, 100, about 145, 152 degrees, and that's exactly what you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to slice some beautiful pork. Oh, that's going to be good. It is going to be good. We're Don't gonna overcook your pork, ladies and gentlemen. No, that's exactly right. Boy, I'll tell you what. My husband makes dry pork chops. How come? Because he overcooks yeah. them. Yeah, this, this, this cuts like butter, I'll tell you How that. How do you solve that? Well, just take it off earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Not Use too a high meat of thermometer. Heat. So here's yeah. what we're gonna do. Now we got the pork cut here. I'll do, worry about that one in a minute here. We're gonna take a little bit of the uh, cherry horseradish. <laughs> Countryovens.com. Oh, and we're gonna have a little like bit of the this. cherry horseradish. Now these you can decorate when they're on the grill, but it's not much room here at Cranberry Lake to decorate <laughs> on the grill at the Golden Chipmunk. Pork. Wow. Yeah. They're good. Here's delicious. a done, ladies and gentlemen. He's, yeah, not, no, done. Not, done. He's not done. He's not yet. So remember, these are going to cook a little bit on the grill, too, so even the, it'll get even a tad bit more done, the pork roast, so you got to be cautious. We're going to do a little black. Oops. Oh, we didn't. We forgot the main course. It's not the main course, but we got oh, to do some the pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know what the main We oh, know the see. main course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Freddie's waiting for the main course. <laughs> we got the black olives yeah, on there. You can put whatever you choose on top oh, of there. Oh, I like that combination, We got though. some blue cheese. Oh, the blue cheese and the black olives are just oh, phenomenal. Oh, man. So we're going to get the these sun? back on the grill just to, keep, to warm through a tad bit more before you serve them. If you serve it off to the side on, on the MHP grill, they'll last forever until you're ready to serve. On the uh, pit boss over here, just turn her down a little bit, looking good. Hey, speaking of looking good, look at that baby right there. Oh. Yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah, that's a campsite. That's an RV site delight, ain't it? Yeah, it really, looking really is. Good. Everybody's looking good up here too. Okay, yes, Freddie's waited long enough. Freddie's waiting. <laughs> it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for the Golden Chipmunk Bar. Sunrise. The Golden Chipmunk Award goes to Freddie Byer. Freddie Byer, ladies and gentlemen. Freddie Byer. <laughs> Freddie Byer. Freddie Byer. <laughs> Freddie Byer. <laughs> Freddie Byer. <laughs> We're doing a pina, pina colada. Oh. A little bit different, sir. You're doing a Malibu sunset. Yes, yes. Normally known as the Golden Chipmunk Sunrise. Oh. <laughs> Which means you can drink them in the morning, too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can wait up all night to wait for that to rise, too. All right. Malibu Brahm is great, I have to admit. It's really it a good one. The flavor is good. It's great for summer drink. Mm -hmm. All right. A little bit of cherry delight, cherry juice. Looking okay. good. I'll do the sunrise once we pour that in. Boy, this cherry juice is just great. That is refreshing. I've been drinking that with my sun drop in the morning. <laughs> All right. You've got Look some good flavors lady. in there. That's the key. Look at this. This stuff is just Yeah, that melon has got a little touch of coconut to it, so that makes it special. I got my uh, official stirring fork here. It's a knife, folks. It's a knife. <laughs> no, it's my stirring fork. Now Mark, Mark's going over there. That's a fork. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to top this. You know, normally we do lemon. <laughs> Not with Freddie. Not no. with Freddie. It's got to be oranges. Freddie's an orange guy. Orange. Orange guy for Freddie. Oh, oh Freddie. Oh, oh that really, that, that. <laughs> Sorry to grab it this way. That spread, is Freddy. the Golden Chipmunk Bar and Grill Special. I'll tell that you that. It's on Cranberry yeah. Lake. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Real, sir. To the if bar. That, to if the that bar. don't make you want to go to Shotzi's Resort and right. Shotzi'sResort.com, nothing do, folks. Look it up; it's great. It really, really is. Oh great. man, is that ever refreshing? Exactly refreshing. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> do we do we have to finish the show? We have to finish the show. <laughs> hey, things are looking pretty gosh darn good. How about a little round of applause for Fast Freddy? Hey. Ladies and 
Ladies and gentlemen, we're at the Golden Chipmunk Bar and Grill. Uh, good sponsors today, eatwisconsinpotatoes.com, countryovens.com. Uh, let's display the food, shall we? Well, let's and then we're going to make food. a nice little dessert. So when you're at your RV site or your cabin here at the Golden Chipmunk Bar and Grill here at Shotzi's Resort, uh, you got to have dessert. Well, yeah. yeah oh, no matter, yeah. no matter, if, 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 it could be a, a, a white Russian. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Fireball. A fireball. Fireball. Oh, that'd be good too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Beer would be good. <laughs> so, Shea bourbon look at would this be good. Baby right here. Oh, oh baby, oh, here she is. Look at that baby. Look at that. Make sure it's sturdy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look so we that. got that baby right there. We got bowls Holy and plates. Cow. We got toothpicks type of routine. Look that should be pretty. delicious. I love it. Oh man. The little spuds turned out just absolutely wonderful. Those uh, mm -hmm. those are actually bakers today. You can use russet potatoes oh. if you want to. It's gonna be good, out, isn't it, Meryl? Yes, it is. I knew what you were doing right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, all right, it's all right. pizza time. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody here ever had a fluffer nutter? No. No Illinois boys? No. Ah. Really? Illinois boy here. Fluffer nutters, you gotta have them. Fluffer nutters are a combination originally of peanut butter and marshmallow cream or fluff. Uh, but today we got a nice little pre-made pizza crust. We have our good friends at Country Ovens have their hot fudge. Oh, oh. so so. And that has cherries in it. And that's gonna go on the bottom as the sauce. With cherries in there, hon. Yeah. It really, really, and you know what? They, they make the best products because they're so, uh, they're, they're so real. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like it's real milk chocolate. There's nothing artificial. It's real milk chocolate. I'm talking real. <laughs> fluff, you gotta have fluff, folks. <laughs> oh. Now this goes on a pizza stone eventually. This goes on a nice pizza stone. We do shows, he's plopped that in my You head. know, that, he plopped that right down, but you know what? He missed his chance. I figured he was, he was gonna call me the fluff, you know, that, that he missed a chance. We call this a, a fluff monk. Fluff monk. <laughs> That's right. And Boy. now, uh, some almonds over the top of that. This goes on the pizza He's stone. He's not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this goes on the uh, pizza stone, and then we put it on the grill just like you would a normal pizza. It really, really, honest to goodness, is delicious. It goes on just for about five or six minutes. It doesn't take very long, but then you have to let it cool down. And my favorite way to do it, honestly, I made this one yesterday. My favorite way to do it is to cool it down and make it into bars later on. And then what we're going to do is, so these good folks over here can maybe see or maybe not. Uh, we're going to take our, our uh, we're going to take a little bit of caramel. And right at the end, we're gonna do a little drizzling. Everybody, ooh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Martha Stewart's going, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> so that gets cut into bars, and that's gonna be just absolutely delicious. So many different ways you can do with that fluff right there, and the marshmallow cream, the peanut butter. The original fluff or nutter came when Meryl was in the Discoveries, <laughs> not the Boy Scouts, but Explorers. the Discoveries. Explorers. Jeez. And the Explorers went in the woods and they explored. No, they did. And with them, they took four loaves of bread and a case of fluff. <laughs> they didn't see us for days. They didn't see us for days. And they made fluff or nutters, mm -hmm. but they made those originally with the... Uh, no, no. Camp pie. Pudgy, pudgy pies. pies. That's the it. Pudgy ding, ding, ding. We have a winner over here. The pudgy pie container. So that's a great way to do those on the grill. When you come back, we're going to wrap this baby up. We're going to have a great time. We're at Cranberry Lake behind us. We are at the Golden Chipmunk Bar and Grill. You can go to ShotsiesResort.com, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back after this. We we'll will be right baby back. Up. Tell you. Golden Chipmunk Bar yes. and Grill, ladies and gentlemen. We've had a lovely day today. We made yeah. some great eats. You guys do the same thing. Till we meet again, peace, love, and happy grilling. Folks. Happy grilling, everybody. Take care. Bye bye. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.